Uh, hi everyone. Uh, happy to see all of you and uh, welcome back to today's session uh, organized by Fordan Africa. Uh, and my name is uh, Putu Hadi. Uh, and uh, as always, try to keep uh, your mic muted during the presentation uh, to prevent background noises. And if you have any question, you can raise your hand or type them into the chat box. And I think uh, I will uh, give you the uh, leadership to guide the meeting, Prof. Miriam, uh, to let the session. Uh, the floor is yours, Prof. Miriam. Thank you very much, Putu. Um, yes, it's good to see everybody. I think that um, today it is um, really important to kind of see a little bit where we stand. Yesterday we had a good meeting on uh, the deployment and I don't see Dr. Raya here, but he gave a very interesting uh, presentation to look at the um, well, issues for us to consider as we move into the implementation phase now. Um, and um, of course, last week we had our conference, which was very successful. Um, Obina has sent everything, has put everything online. So we just now need to finalize the communications on that. Um, and now time is quite short um, until we have our next big conference in Leiden on the 30th of May. So we are making all of the preparations for that now. And um, yeah, so maybe we can look back uh, for a moment on the conference last week. I think it would be good to hear a bit what everybody is, um, uh, what, what, yeah, what the impressions are what you feel uh, we should be expecting from the uh, meeting on the 30th of May and um, how we get there and what in the meantime we should be able to do. Um, we have some uh, meetings planned now in terms of the follow-up with a potential, um, well, with our partners. Uh, such as uh, Invest International and Philips. So we, we need to also see these presentations in light of that. Um, and um, yeah, really where we want to take this. Um, for that, the document of Dr. Araya is also actually very good. Um, so I don't know if um, it is useful, Samsung, to go through the document of uh, Dr. Araya as a starting point for um, a reflection on uh, the expectations in the in the next uh, one month, going towards the 30th of May. Uh, Samson, I don't know if your connection is good. Dr. Araya just joined the meeting from Miriam. Oh. He's dropped out, so. Yeah, well, maybe he'll be coming back in and we'll ask him then to uh, uh, to, to provide that uh, presentation. But in the meantime, uh, is it possible that we um, hear a bit um, what, your, what the impression was from your side on the presentation uh, of the conference last week? Um, who can I give the floor on that? Can I start maybe with uh, Dr. Ibrahim? Or if not Ibrahim, then um, Sakinat? Anyone else? Um, Mariam, Jamal, I'm asking uh, some feedback on the conference of last week and um, how that was. Hello, oh, sorry. Hi, Jamal. Hello, Prof. Yes, Jamal. Hi. 
I just I lost the question. I was those question. Sorry. So my my question is um, the conference last week. How was it, and and uh, what is the expectation of from that going from that conference to the conference on the thirtieth of May? Do you have any uh, expectations on that? How how do you see that? Yeah, for me, it was really, it was nice. It was really very informative and the pointy. I cannot say anything about the expectation because I didn't think thought about the way that it can be affected. So what's generally the, the, the meeting was the conference was very, that was, was excellent. A lot I can say it, Prof. Mm. Thank you. Uh, Sakinat says it was uh, power packed. That is nice. Uh, Sakina, do you want to elaborate a bit on that? And also, um, yeah, um, let me ask uh, Oluwola and Ezra also, how did you experience the, the conference last week? Hello, good evening, everyone. Hi, Oluwola. Yeah, I, I think uh, the conference was quite insightful. Uh, at least it gave us uh, a green light that's okay. We have actually been doing something right. And of course, listening to all the speakers during the conference, yeah, there is hope that, okay, going by what we have done and continue on the path would actually achieve a lot in uh, with the principles of fair data management and all, 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 all the principles. Yeah, it was really insightful. It was quite educative and uh, it was really nice. We look forward to more things like that, more conferences like that, actually. But, uh, and and um, why do you think uh, that is good to have more conferences like that? I'm really, I'm really trying to generally hear back because the the, the conference, we were, he were here, there's everybody online, we couldn't really talk about it. So I'm trying to see a little bit um, how we share what the, um, what the sense was of, of everybody. Everybody's in different places, so I thought we should talk about it. Okay, I would say most of the time we've always had our weekly meetings and oh, we just listen every time, but with the conference, there are more insights to the principles we talk about every time. We use, we, we just, we, most of the time we play around with a lot of terminologies that we do not actually understand the practicability of it. We just understand them in principle. So, but uh, through the conference, we're able to at least understand the use of a lot of these terminologies. A lot of the terms were actually brought to fore. We, we could understand, okay, this is what this means. This is how we should do it. This is how we should handle this. And going forward, and I think whatever we'll be doing, I think we'll probably be doing it in a more improved uh, way. Yeah. 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 I, I think that what I hear you say is that the confer conference provided for a, 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 a teaching of ourselves and a narrative where what we are trying to do becomes clearer because we are talking about it and we have others that we invite who talk about it and then in that conversation it becomes clearer is that what you are trying to say Oluwana? yes bro yeah thank you um anyone else who would like to uh contribute uh, reginald what was your impression yeah professor i think from your own presentation was to locate more than within the academia like when you brought in uh, Stanford University and then we were sharing what Gordon is doing. The video is very informative. It shows that we have grown as Gordon and we can be at the same level with any other institution across the globe. And then uh, how we inform the international community, how we take care of our medical data, how our research students are very much involved. When you brought in Putu, you brought in Mariam, you brought in all the other people who are conducting research. It shows the growth of what done in the last two years and how we are scaling ourselves within the international community. I think now is to get down to business and say, okay, the knowledge we have, 
how we locate it within our health facilities and be able to generate data that even at our local level we can use now that the international community knows. This is what I've been reflecting on, Professor. Thank you. Thank you very much, Reginald. That also is very helpful. Um, who else? Um, I'm looking around. Mariam, Ibrahim, Ezra, anyone else really? Uh, Bina, Haile, you are a bit of a newcomer. How did you, what did you take from it? Samson? Rudwan, I don't know, Rudwan, if you saw Hello, it. hello, bro. Yes, Ibrahim, yes, please. Yes, uh, just as uh, Oluwale submitted, uh, it is actually a very insightful conference and, and uh, it has exposed us to so many things. And uh, I, I really want to commend all of the things that were shared there, particularly it is a follow-up of what Dr. Araya shared with us. Uh, we were privileged to be at the country coordinators meeting yesterday. And uh, we are really glad to learn a lot from this. And even moving ahead, we will have better explanation of what the whole system looks like. Thank you so much, Prof. Thank you, uh, Ibrahim. Araya. Uh, hello, Miriam. Hello. Uh, good afternoon. Uh, I think the conference was really uh, 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 helpful the way it is arranged. It was a, a good opportunity for learning and also for sharing uh, the ideas. And uh, what uh, what uh, what uh, I think uh, to go forward, usually when we present or share our ideas to external uh, parties or to other audience, then uh, we think more, we learn more how to present it and how to share it. Uh, to share you the experience of uh, the Makala team, the preparation we had before the conference, like when we talk to the head of the regional health bureau, when we talk to the chief executive director of our hospital and our college, it was a moment for us uh, to really think again and uh, to see uh, the purpose that we are doing and uh, what is important. And uh, through the discussions we had, uh, it was an opportunity for us to learn more, to know more. So such uh, conferences or opportunities for uh, sharing uh, our ideas should uh, continue. I know how much time and energy it takes to organize such uh, conferences, uh, but uh, I do believe that this is a part of the change process. You know, in a go fair, I like this uh, go build, go train, and go change. So such conferences are helpful to change the mind of stakeholders or uh, peer colleagues or peer groups in a similar uh, task as uh, colleagues and friends. So that was a good opportunity. Probably, uh, I know there was a limitation in uh, time, or uh, shortage of time. Uh, however, had it been there was an opportunity for question and answering session, it could have uh, helped to see how other audience, especially uh, out of the Woden community, it could, uh, it could give us some idea how other people are looking at our work. Thank you. Thank you very much, Araya. I saw the hand of Alan. Alan? And I also saw the hand of Ezekiel. And what about anyone else, Desta or Yuma or Ernest? Elia. Gusite. Anyone with me? Uh, I'm just, I thank you, Prof. Uh, um, yeah, uh, it's very, very good uh, opportunity in the platform uh, to discuss with uh, all uh, Bodanti. Uh, we learn more, uh, our team also uh, discussing and uh, implementing the direction given from uh, Vodanti. Uh, 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 when the MU uh, and the TG, they are uh, more uh, 
doing some uh, more uh, issues than me. Uh, I think they are not present. They can elaborate than me. Ah. Thank you very much, Desta. Thank you. That is helpful. Um, Samson, what uh, was your impression? Hi, Prof. Hi, everyone. Uh, I believe the conference was really uh, good and it was really informative. And also, uh, it has also helped us to progress in a way because uh, having moments like this push us to uh, to finalize the remaining tasks. So starting from the preparation, it was really good. And in fact, uh, we probably needed a, a little time to uh, present uh, it in a better way. Uh, but otherwise, uh, I believe even in relation to other presenters, uh, the approach we chose, like uh, uh, Dr. Regerand was saying, uh, well, the, the fact that we, we used the video approach uh, also had its own uh, uh, sort of a good side because it got more attention and uh, overall I am really happy that uh, we had uh, that moment. It was a, pro a proud moment for Vodan. That's how I felt. Thank you. Wonderful. That is really good. Um, and I also wanted to ask Eric Flickenshield from uh, Go Fair how you uh, you were in the room. And uh, so that was a different uh, feeling and dynamic. How did you, uh, what were your observations? My, my observations was that it was very clear, all the, the presentations and especially from uh, Gateway and Samsung <coughs> were very informative. I think it is a great, as was said, a great moment. So congratulations you all. I think this is really a good moment. You must have such a milestone because you must let the world see where you are and that you have uh, more to, to give. So um, I think the whole thing together and uh, together with, um, I don't know his name, the, 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 the chairman of the parliament of what was it exactly, from high till low, everyone uh, is working together and uh, we are combining the requirements that are on a national level and on an institutional level. And we succeeded in combining this into an access control infrastructure that has, has now has the trust of everyone. I think this is a real, real great thing to do because you see often that uh, IT uh, builds something, but n no one understands what it was and how it became to a certain trust. And now in this way of working with these several uh, working groups, uh, you see it's a very transparent way of building things. And that's what we need now in open science and open data. It's all transparent and you can see if it's good or not, if you will trust it or not. So again, great compliments to uh, all your all the working groups and and the presentations, especially from the working groups of of Fodan. Thank you. Thank you, Eric, and thank you for all the support by you and also by Beth and and all the others. Thank you for that. So um, what I'm wondering now is, um, I think it would be good to go to the presentation of Araya, if that is possible. <laughs> But um, maybe uh, just before uh, we do that, um, I see Alan, um, nice uh, messages in the chat. Thank you, Alan. Uh, what I am wondering is there is not that much time before it is the 30th of May. You know, that is basically in one month. And next week is Eid, and so there are a lot of things coming up next week. I think next week uh, we might have a meeting on the... Uh, Tuesday, but I also think we will be missing um, quite a few uh, people. So my thinking was, if we do a quick round country by country, especially the countries where we uh, need to now make some uh, progress. And then my um, proposal is that in two weeks time, we take a country by country uh, update and that every uh, country coordinator presents a uh, PowerPoint with everybody on the team, all the facilities and an update of where you stand and, and what you have been able to do for the deployment. So a presentation by Ibrahim and Sakinat, a presentation by Araya and the team, a presentation by Samson, one by Mariam, one by Reginald, one by the Zimbabweans, 
um, so that we really start to have a solid idea comparatively where everything stands. Would that be possible to do that in two weeks time to have country, have prepared country um, presentations uh, in a PowerPoint of where things stand. And then from there, we discussed yesterday the uh, proposal to ask all of the health facilities to make a very short video of the installation and the deployment and, and maybe how it is received. Putu is going to um, make a small um, uh, outline for that. So that then uh, with the country presentations and with the uh, presentations by all of the health facilities, we start to have excellent material for that big conference on the 30th of May, from where we then can uh, prepare new content, because I think we have to make sure that for every conference we have new content, but where again we can uh, um, strengthen the visibility of what we are achieving. How is that as a proposal? Am I clear? So in two weeks time, every country coordinator to present in PowerPoint, the team, the updates uh, and where things stand. And um, for all the country coordinators to ask each of the health facilities to prepare a short video according to outline by Putu. Uh, nice, I'm reading in the chat that it sounds good. Okay, good. All right, then uh, Putu, can I ask you to, um, uh, to make sure that this is followed up and that this is in the agenda in two weeks time and that then uh, it allows us next week to uh, have a focus on the progress that we need in, um, uh, especially in uh, Addis and in Garoe uh, and in Zimbabwe. So maybe I can, I can see that, uh, well, Desta we have just heard, and I saw also that Tigist was here. So maybe a, a short update from the Ethiopian side in terms of the uh, finances. All of this is really now uh, through the process of um, uh, approval going into payment that might still, uh, take um, maybe seven days, 10 days before it is in your in the university, but it's really uh, uh, moving now. So Tigist Odesta, would you be able to speak to uh, the planning on your side for the installation in uh, Addis? If she can. Tiji, please. Tigist? Tigist? Can you hear me? Yes. Hello? Yes. Yeah. We will uh, we'll try to do as a proposal, and uh, as soon as we get the computers, we'll start the deployment. Yeah. So, um, Antigis, do you think that you can already start with uh, the comp with the computer that you have in terms of the, um, in terms of the test of the VI, so that you already know um, how you're going to manage. Uh, we try to do that, but the uh, uh, memory space we have was very little at the university, and it is uh, we 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 try to install it. will install the program, but we couldn't go further, and we need uh, to upgrade the RAM, and we couldn't buy a new computer with this time because of the financial issues. Mm. Okay, and then uh, what about, uh, yeah, Jamal, is there anything new to say uh, on the Somalia side? I think you were going to discuss further with uh, Samson on the preparations, Jamal. Yeah, yeah, yes, Prof. Uh, for us, we, we need to, we have already, I have already contacted with the logistic team 
we just try to evaluate how best we can uh, deliver. So as we want to, if we, if we receive the, the budget, we can immediately we procure and they, they do the installation. So we have already made uh, an assessment which the cheapest one because it's, if I, we quite face it, a giant about uh, everything is rising. So we projected is 1,000, but I, 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 I think it will be that limit. That was our worry. But I think uh, we can we can procure we can procure as soon as we have that we receive that by and we receive the 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 budget. Yeah. Can I ask um, Clara and Francesca and Frederick if we could uh, advance the to the Ethiopia and the, uh, and the uh, Somalia team um, for, because we are waiting for the. Nific money to come to the KIU account in Vodan, and we have still we have cash flow, so we could advance this uh, from the current budget. Uh, perhaps, do you think that it would be uh, uh, okay, Clara? Let me first ask Clara. Uh, yes, um, I think we need to have a, have a look at what that would mean for for the cash flows, but I but we can certainly look into that. Yeah. Um, maybe we will try to um, see if we can advance that um, this week so that we can really get uh, uh, get you going. Francesca, how do you see this? Um, yes, Prof. I, I guess uh, if Clara says it's okay, that's fine. Because uh, she has more information on the financing than I do at the moment. Yeah, so I, I, I'm okay with it. If we can find the funding, if we have the cash flow to advance, that's yeah. absolutely fine. Yes. Now we have it covered from NIFIC. It is only that it needs to go in steps. So oh. now that I'm thinking that this is really holding up the deployment, oh. I'm thinking that we can uh, advance. It's all going through the Vodan Africa uh, bank account. So, um, and both are controlled by KIU. I mean, they are, you know, handled by KIU um, through the Brussels office. So I actually think that, I feel that we could do it. Yes, absolutely. We should do it, actually. Yeah. There is no reason to delay the implementation in those yeah. two countries since we can find the money. Yeah. So then uh, can I ask uh, Frederick and Heile to... Uh, uh, to prioritize this and uh, we'll give the instructions uh, uh, and then go for the approvals, uh, Francesca. So um, if that would be the case, um, am I hearing from Tigist and from Jamal that you are good to go as if, if we can uh, advance the um, money coming forward? Yes, yes, that's that, that's yeah, from my side, yeah. Yes, Prof, we already tested the uh, installation and you can make it, yeah. All right, okay, okay. Then, uh, uh, Francesca, I'll be, we'll be in touch and we will um, put this out uh, ASAP, great. Oh. Then, uh, shall we then go to the presentation of uh, Dr. Raya, please, Dr. Raya. Hello, can I share my slide here? Yeah, I think it's uh, with uh, Putu. Yes, you can share your uh, screen, Dr. Daraya. Hello, can you see my slide? Um, it's maybe still coming through. No, this is the end of the slide. Uh, yeah, we can see it. We can see it now. Yeah, uh, thank you. Uh, I think uh, the uh, this issue is uh, more of the, on the implementation. Uh, so far as a uh, Vodan, uh, we have progressed very well. Uh, we have the minimal viable product and uh, 
tested ready for uh, deployment uh, but now uh, i believe we are at a stage where we need to think about the strategies for uh, uh, implementation. So for our discussion, uh, I selected this uh, common uh, conceptual model or conceptual framework for uh, implementation. Uh, uh, yeah, uh, this is taken from uh, a published article in 2008-2009. So according to this uh, uh, paper uh, or conceptual model, uh, it is it is critical to think uh, what is the uh, product or what is the intervention that what uh, what we want to implement. So uh, on the what box, as you see, it could be the intervention, the product could be quality improvement or evidence supported treatment or programs. Uh, in our case, in Vodan case, uh, what uh, what we want to implement is this. Uh, Vodan minimal viable product for data management or uh, data production and visualization. Uh, the next, uh, once we make clear the what aspect is, uh, how are we going to implement? What are our uh, strategies? When we say strategies, the how part or uh, what approach should we use so that we, we will achieve what we want? Uh, and in this Vodan, uh, it is a big, I, I would say, a very uh, uh, optimistic uh, implementation or deployment of the Vodan MVP in 88 health facility facilities in uh, eight or nine countries. And each country has its own uh, specific context, uh, specific uh, policy or health system structure and organization. So there should be very uh, strategies that are relevant or that works uh, uh, with uh, each country's context. The same even within a specific country, the health facilities, the 88 health facilities, or for instance, uh, in Tigray, uh, where I work, the 10 health facilities uh, are not the same. There are hospitals, there are referral hospitals, there are health centers. So uh, the structure, the nature of a hospital is different from a health center. So are we going to use the same strategy uh, across all health facilities? Are there uh, peculiarities, specifics? So we have to think uh, starting now, uh, what are the strategies we want to implement? I believe uh, in the next, the next two to three months uh, will be a kind of formative uh, phase by formative phase, I mean that it is a learning phase. How how um, how uh, how we deploy and what are the challenges in each health facilities? For instance, earlier uh, Professor Miriam was mentioning in two weeks' time, uh, she was asking us to present uh, each country coordinator uh, the challenge, the progress, and the learnings in the, the deployment. Uh, so when we move to deployment, there will be a lot of learnings to think about effective strategies or not. So uh, it is good to start thinking, what are our strategies? If uh, the strategies that we think effective to achieve our, uh, our desired outcomes. Once we made this clear, then uh, it's also time to think, what are the outcomes? What are the outputs we are really thinking? Uh, so far, uh, through the design and the development of the MVP, uh, one of the great achievement we made, for instance, is the capacity development, the capacity in terms of technical development. But now we are uh, moving into the health system, into the into facilities, into the hospitals. So, what are the outcomes? The users will ask what is the benefit for us by deploying this uh, product? What are, what are the desired outcomes? They want to see uh, the outcome. And these outcomes could be from, uh, uh, from a patient perspective or patient outcomes, service outcomes, system-related outcomes. Uh, and yesterday, Dr. Reginald was mentioning like, what are the desired outcomes from the managers, from the decision ma makers perspective? So we may have different outcomes 
depending on the uh, on the nature of the product that we are intervening, uh, but we need to have uh, the uh, uh, to have a clear set of uh, outcomes, the desired outcomes. And uh, now with uh, the MVP, we may not think this may not be the right time to think about uh, out about impact, but ultimately uh, outcomes are measurable, short-term goals. Uh, but in the long run, in the long run, what is the impact that we want to make? Uh, as it has been uh, clearly uh, mentioned in the Vodana document, uh, we want to improve uh, the quality of healthcare through data ownership and the localization. So what do we mean by improving quality of healthcare? Uh, are we targeting to a level of reducing uh, mortality or morbidity of patients, or we are uh, targeting to the uh, knowledge production or data production. And uh, uh, yeah, uh, thinking uh, about impact at this time uh, is crucial, but it is good to prioritize the outcomes. Once we know the outcomes, the desired outcomes, we can think of uh, what is the impact we want to make in uh, two years or three years time. Uh, for now, uh, I would uh, I would like to pause. Uh, it is time to think: what are our strategies? Uh, what are our outcomes? And again, when we deploy and implement, uh, we have to document the learnings. The learning uh, how 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 the Vodana MVP is being accepted in the health facility. And when we say health facility, it's a complex. There are patients. There are health workers. A different mix of health workers, managers, health management information system. So keeping the learnings, documenting the learnings of acceptability, adoption, uh, feasibility, and other aspects of the uh, process uh, are key. And going forward, what I think maybe for a Vodan, this is like a, a sample conceptual model, but we can adapt this conceptual model into uh, the uh, Vodan implementation uh, conceptual mo model. And uh, in other school, other scholars, uh, especially uh, quality improvement uh, experts, uh, conceptual models can be also named as uh, theory of change. So we may think uh, theory of change is like the, uh, the preferable term these days, a kind of hot cake. Maybe we may think for uh, uh, what is the theory of change for uh, Vodan Africa and Asia? How do we want to bring change uh, in the uh, 88 uh, health facilities? And uh, yes, this is a, an initial discussion, but going forward, uh, I want to propose, for instance, each country to come up with, uh, with its own recommendation of strategies and uh, outcomes and if possible, the impact that we that uh, that country want to make. So once we we receive feedback or inputs from each country involved in Vodan, we can develop uh, a kind of master overarching theory of change, or a conceptual model or logic model. It depends. There are a number of uh, different pro, uh, models and theories, so we can develop an overarching. Uh, uh, conceptual model, but this is not this uh, work exercise can be done side by side to the deployment and uh, implementation and to the learning uh, phase of our uh, our work. Thank you. Thank you very much, Araya. <clears throat> Concise and very uh, clear. Um, can I hear any uh, reactions to this presentation? Prof. Francesca, how do you uh, see this presentation? Uh, thank you very much, Prof. This is an excellent one. I had seen the uh, publication when it was shared earlier in the country coordinators group, and I took a look at it. Earlier this morning, while I was thinking about this meeting, I was like, it appears we, because we have implemented Tunisia, we seem to not be focusing more. So when I saw this, I said I was going to talk to our research team to see if they can actually redesign this to also capture the research data uh, implementation in Tunisia and maybe any other country in future who may want to 
do that. So it also helps to bridge the gap between our practice in Northern Africa and then the research in GAIC, as you've captured in the GAIC report, which I also read this morning. So it's yeah, absolutely beautiful. Absolutely. Yeah. Thank you very much, Francesca. Um, and it also ties in with um, a proposal that uh, Professor Pakinat was uh, sending on a really kind of um, uh, putting in, uh, in a document the Fair Data Competence Center. So I can see what we are starting to have now is we, well, we have the minimal viable product. Then we have the dynamics in each of the country, which I think Araya is really inviting us to um, make more explicit what those dynamics are. What are the drivers of this in Nigeria? What are the drivers of this in Uganda? And they can be different also because there are different people involved. So we are not looking for a rigorous comparison, but just really to understand how the leadership is seeing um, the rationale or the reason uh, of what we are uh, trying to do in that, um, uh, in that model of uh, what are we trying to achieve? And um, is it just the minimal viable product to work in the facilities or what are the, the research and strategic dimensions on that over and above that? So our PhD researchers in GAIC is one uh, element, but also uh, the contribution to us as senior scholars, I would say, because it helps, should help all of us also to investigate this as an area of, uh, yeah, of really, um, uh, uh, where we can make critical advances to data science. Um, and then, so then um, in relation to, on the one hand, research and on the other hand, um, services contributions um, between the health sector and the scientific sector, we kind of need to start to get a hold of what, what the key of the project is, or is it all of those things in the um, year ahead? And it's important that we talk about that because the, um, the partners are also going to ask us now, where are you going to take this? Take this? And, and you know, what is the output or the impact that you are wanting to achieve and so on? So I think that Dr. Raya has done exactly the right thing. Mm -hmm. And he got us to think about what is the, what is the change that we want and where do we want to make it? And, and to start that conversation, first of all, at each of the um, country groups would be very insightful because we haven't done that much. We have done a lot across working together with all of the different capacities uh, that we could muster from all of the different places. So we have really learned to collaborate and that is really nice. And now maybe it's also time to kind of um, take, a, take a moment, a breathing moment and see, do we really know, if, if I asked Ibrahim, Ibrahim, why are you here every Monday, every Tuesday? You know, I, it would be good for me to really understand that answer and for you to understand my answer. And so that we really start understanding as a community what the different things are that, that, that we, we want to achieve with this. Does that make sense, Francesca? Yes, absolutely, absolutely. And Araya, does it, am I taking it too far away from your presentation or it, does it still relate to the issue that you wanted to put to us? It's a mute. It's actually on mute, I guess it's the network. Yes, maybe the network. So meanwhile, let me ask um, uh, any other colleagues to come in on the presentation of Araya and um, the, um, the conversation also between Francesca and myself, where, where we are trying to really um, see where 
where do you want us to take this and how do we get there and does it make sense to now in the next um, two to three weeks to really make explicit what your um, thinking is on your strategic objectives country by country which could also be part of the presentation in two weeks time who would like to speak to that <coughs> And uh, Araya said it very well yesterday because he said you, we cannot do that from the from the top structure. We really need to take that from the uh, dynamic in each in each of the countries. No. Everybody is reflecting. Or are we talking to each other, Francesca? <laughs> I guess so. It should have been good to hear from the country coordinators, but like uh, we have seen, we started from the top. So maybe now they have to go and then do the bottom, which is still okay. <laughs> okay. That's so I have yeah, he says, I can help with preparation of the templates and giving guidance. That will be very good. That will be good. So even Dr. Reginald, you're not responding. We always can count on you. No, I mean, yesterday when Araya was presenting, we shared a little bit. And I think now it's getting more and more clearer because um, at our local level, at the, the Kenyan level, the directors of health facilities have been asking this kind of question. So even now, Dr. Wajen Wadome or Bacon of Hope is interested to see now that we have deployed. So what's the next move? What's the next step? Yeah. So if we have this theory of change, then we are trying to benefit both the health facility, the Minister of Health, and then what Borden is intending to achieve. So it will be very important to see that we develop our own model that's grassroots driven from the, from the lower level, then the Minister of Health can buy into. So that's the Kenyan approach. That's yeah. how we are looking at it, yeah. yeah. And then also to understand, you know, what you need, because so far I am quite uh, surprised that with the MVP, you're all basically seeming to manage because I thought we have to have an introduction strategy and we need to have information on you know, what uh, the, the data clerks are supposed to do and this and that, but nobody has come to ask for those things. So that also it makes me curious. It, does it mean that because we had a long time preparation that all of these conversations have taken place or, um, are you all just being modest and not asking more <laughs> from us? And um, are you just making do with what is there? Or it would be really interesting to understand this a bit better. Yeah, I, I think uh, for our team in Kenya, we have been discussing this question. Uh, for example, if I take William, William is a technical person here, but then he would also be helping, let's say, Pumwan Hospital, which is Nairobi Metropolitan Main Hospital. Then what is his role as a technical advisor at Gordon Kenya, but then also as data steward at uh, Pumwani? So these roles are beginning to come out. And uh, I think as we start this process of understanding the implementation, we're going to redefine different roles. Maybe one person may play two, three roles in one particular situation at the country level, but also at the clinic level, the health facility level. That is what seems to be coming out. Uh, thank you. Thank you very much, uh, Reginald. So, um, anyone else on this? Can you hear me, Bob? Can you hear me? Uh, who is this? That's Dr. Abdullahi. Yes, yes. Yeah. Abdullahi. Yeah, yeah. Ibrahim. Yeah. Ibrahim. Um, uh, yes, for Nigeria, just like uh, Dr. Reginald said, uh, we have uh, a top level approach down from the data steward down to the data clerk. So every health facility in Nigeria is assigned uh, the data steward who will now uh, supervise what the data collection and all of the activities will be like. 
And this is also fully guided by the country technical lead, which is Ablai Kau, and supported by the data experts, uh, Umar Zakari Ramadan. So for us, uh, this is the approach that we're using and the discussions will continue uh, that we have started earlier. And we hope to even converge all of us together before we do the deployments uh, one after the other. Thank you. That is excellent, uh, Ibrahim. And those are very important practical questions, which I think we should also um, have in those presentations in two weeks time. Um, yeah, and in addition to that, I think that uh, Francesca and I, and I think also Dr. Araya, we are really looking for your reflections on, you know, where do you want to see the output, the impact? Do you want to see that within the health facility, within the health system, within the uh, ministry, or do you see that within science, within your own, you know, in the in the academic context or within the capacity building, what are the goals that you as country teams set yourselves and they can be multiple, but um, I think that is something that we should really now capture because until uh, until last week, we had one objective together here right Francesca, we had yeah. only one objective and that was get the minimal viable product. I mean, Olawola and Ezra know that, you know, we were on their back like, no, 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 we just need a minimal viable product, minimal viable product, specifications and requirements of the minimal viable product. So the minimal viable product became the thing. It became our God. It became the thing that we needed to do. Now we have it. So now what? That is the question that Araya asks. So, okay, you got your thing, you got your minimal viable products. Now what? What do you want with this? And for sure, this is not something that Francesca and I can answer. So that is the discussion that we uh, feel we need to have and the feedback that we need to have so that also in these conferences, we can start to be clear why, as this brilliant community that we have, what, what, what is our vision? Where do we want to take this? If we are having the same conversation in one year time, what is it that we have achieved? What impact have we put there? That is something that I think we should be able to um, articulate. Nice, I see the Nigeria team coming up. That's a good. <laughs> and you can have internal discussions in the team mm -hmm. and they do not need to be the same. It can be different for Kenya or for Somalia, or whatever, but yes, it would definitely. be really, right? But it would be really, really good to hear that. But I think maybe I have said enough um, and we are almost um, uh, ready for this uh, hour. Um, but um, so Araya will be uh, preparing something and then Putu, you will prepare uh, three things. One is um, the content for the video for each of the health facilities. And we uh, request the country coordinators to bring that to the attention of the uh, facilities that they make, a sm it, it can be, amateur video, but a small video on the outline that Putu then uh, will propose, that is one. Then the second will be um, the, what, how you have organized as a country team for the deployment and who, yeah, who, who is doing what and you know, how, how did you do that and what tools did you use? Did you make any additional material for the facilities or not? So how, how did you do that? And number three, as a country team, what is your vision in a year or two years from now, if you know we have, we have dreamt and we have achieved what we wanted to achieve, what would that be? Francesca, does this make sense to you? Yes, Prof. It does. And then maybe we should also do that, Francesca. Maybe we can do our own exercise. All right. <laughs> and then we're done African level. Absolutely. Maybe together with a VC. Okay. 
So um, that's it, Putu, for uh, today. Um, I, I'll hand over to Professor Francesca. I'd like to thank everybody. Our conclusion today is that the deployment is going very well. Thank you, big thank you to our fantastic team of country coordinators and everybody working with them. Uh, thank you, Reginald and Putu, for coordinating that. Thank you, Araya and team, for that excellent and thoughtful um, um, presentation. And um, we will make sure that we advance the finances so that we can uh, get the deployment done in Zimbabwe, Ethiopia, and Somalia. And Putu, can I ask you um, or... Um, Alia or Mariam, one, one of the three of you, to go back to Julia and to um, Jeremiah to ask about Tanzania and also Liberia. We want them in. And Francesca, it would be really, really super great if you went back to Dr. Mariam and Alia and maybe uh, Eric Flickenshield to see now how are we going to handle the interoperability between scientific data and the data in the facilities. It's not going to be a very difficult thing, but um, we are well positioned with the work that Aliyah has done, the work of Eric Flickenshield uh, and Dr. Mariam to really come up with a concrete proposal. Maybe Rudwan wants to be part of that group as well. Rudwan, do you want to be part of that group? Yeah, that's fine for me. Oh, all right. Yeah? yeah? Great. And the other person who is good for that group, uh, possibly, um, is uh, Andre Rudwan for that, you know, the um, hourglass and the thing in the middle, because that is really what this is uh, about. You have the different um, verified uh, objects, and then these need to be interoperable to uh, come uh, through uh, interoperable services across. That's what we are trying to do. So if we start with that interoperability between Tunisia, LUMC, Alias work and Vodan, those are the most logical because they are within the Vodana vocabulary mm -hmm. and CDAR. And then Eric Flickenshield, we can also extend it with Eric Schulten's uh, leadership if, if that's what he wants with uh, the trusted world of Corona and the zone MV, the W work, but that would be a bit one step removed. For us, the most easiest to do will be between Tunisia and Alia's uh, data. Yeah. Eric Flickenshield, are you happy to uh, be in that group? Yes, I think it's a good idea to do it in this way and to start with it. Yeah, great. It's real pioneer work as well, but I think it's yeah. uh, exciting to do. Yeah. Okay. So, um, and do you want to uh, kind of coordinate that as well? Yeah, I can do that. If yeah. you give all the names, then I will uh, what coordinate this. Yeah. So that is. Uh, I'll, I'll send you an email with all the names and their email yeah. addresses. Then. Yeah. So Alia Rudwan, Francesca, Eric Flickenshield, uh, Dr. Mariam. That is the minimum group, and then anybody else who also wants to be there. Uh, Clara could perhaps be there, but maybe that would be in the next uh, stage. Okay, um, then uh, with that, I think I have said everything there is to say. I want to wish everybody really happy Eid, and I want to hand over to you, Francesca, to close this meeting and to finalize everything. <laughs> Thank you very much, Prof. Uh, the meeting has been a beautiful one. I just want to add my voice to yours to thank everyone for the successes we have recorded so far, and then to especially thank the country coordinators, because now we have kind of passed the ball to them, and then we're all looking up to them, and they're doing so well across the countries to thank them very, very much. Wish everyone a happy holidays of the Eid, and then look forward to the reports uh, in the next two weeks. So I'll hand over to you, Putu, to close in the traditional way with the announcements. Okay, uh, thanks, uh, Prof. Miriam and Prof. Francisca. Uh, and if there is no question, uh, so I will close the meeting. Uh, thanks, everyone, to participate uh, in this meeting. And uh, as always, 
I'll try to update the recording of this video uh, this week in YouTube uh, and also put the link on the WhatsApp. Thanks again for joining us. Uh, we will see you uh, next week. No, sorry, next two week. <laughs> Bye, Bye, everyone. Bye. 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 Bye.